Well, we're already halfway through December 2019, which means the start of a new decade, the 2020s. And so, this video is going to be a re retrospective of my t top 10 figures of the 2000s de 2010s decade. So, yeah, um, each time I'll, before I show figure, each time I'll talk about a year before we get to 2019. So, yeah, before we get to 2000, 2010, no, before we get to the first figure of the top 10 list of the decade, uh, the number, the number 10 spot, um, we talk about 2010. So, 2010, 2010 was a good time. We got, uh, Hunt for the Decepticons, I think. Uh, that was his, uh, that was the subline of the Revenge of the Fallen line. And this mixed in, this mixed in the generations with the movie line. So we got the uh, Hunt for Decepticons and Revealed the Shield at the same time. So that was a good part. Um, Revealed really, the Shield was really one of my favorite lines of the time. Cause I really didn't know who the characters were. Jazz, obviously I knew it was an Autobot, so was Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. But the other characters I really did not know about. I did know Lugna from the animated mo uh, animated show, so I knew he was a Decepticon. But other than that, I did not know much of the other characters. So when I when I got them and I wrote the the emblems on them, I was very surprised. That was a pretty cool, good, unique gimmick that will no longer be... Uh, no, they will no longer do that gimmick, unfortunately, because I guess they didn't sell that well, and kind of stupid gimmick, looking back at it, it's just stickers. So, yeah, so the number 10 of the decade figure is a figure from Titus Return. Titus Return was a good line, I'll talk about that later. So this figure is, our figures are the Voyager mode. So here is uh, Octane and Optimus Prime. I really like this mode. This is one of my favorite Voyager modes of this entire line. Um, this mode, I don't know. I really like this mode out of all the Tangent Turn figures. But yeah, this this figure is pretty cool. The trailer truck mode right here is pretty cool. The tanker um, doesn't turn. The cab doesn't turn, unfortunately. But that's okay because it's supposed to be a triple changer. So uh, it's, uh, it's excusable. So yeah. Um, and then the robot mode itself, it's pretty cool. I really like the, the proportions of it. And, uh, jet mode, I, it's kind of okay, but yeah, it's a, it's a jet mode. Um, so, yeah. Um, the headmaster itself, this is the same design. Let me see if I can pop this guy out right here. I'm sure, he's right here. It's the same design for all three of them. Um, is this little guy right here. Pretty cool design. I really like that. Octane's Headmaster better because he's just all white, but yeah, they, they use the same has Headmaster mold except for the face, so that's obviously different. And yeah, so here is the figures. Here are the figures. So yeah, let's go to number nine. So, so number nine. So in 2011, we got the third and probably should have been the final movie of the franchise, Dark of the Moon. It had a pretty cool ending. Um, designs of them are really cool. I really like the Jetwing Prime. I really, I recently got the Dark of the Moon version for the Steve Sears one. And the Shockwave look pretty cool. Shockwave look pretty interesting. Um, definitely not G1 accurate, but I still have the one eye in the cannon. Even though I think it was on the wrong side of the cannon. I don't know. I might be wrong on that. I think I am wrong on that, but yeah. Uh, Soundwave was pretty cool. Mercedes car and Megatron. Being the truck now is a pretty cool, interesting idea. I really like that idea. So, yeah, enough rambling. Um, what did I say came out in 2010? Yeah, I was meant to say Prime came out in 2010. I don't know if I said that, but yeah. So, the next figure of this, of the top 10 list is Abominus right here. He's a pretty cool uh, combiner. He's my favorite combiner figure. Um... Yeah, he, out of all the combiners, I really like that, this figure. Um, I don't know, just the combiners f feel the same. They have the same type of limbs, but yeah, after they kept reusing that Superion chest mode, I, it's kind of been the same and same. 
Um, they're doing the same thing with the Seacons, so yeah. I don't know, I'm probably not going to get the Seacons since they're Hasbro Pulse exclusive. And there's only a limited time you could get them, and I really missed out on that line. So yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, you should get it, they're probably the best combiner so far. Um, yeah, better than the Menasaur figure. Anything, any combiner is better than the Menasaur figure, to be honest. So, yeah, let's go back to number 10, number 8. So, in 2012, we got, um, the Fall of Cybertron game. That game was pretty interesting. Um, it gave us a little subline for the Fall of Cybertron characters in the Generations line. We got Jazz, Sideswipe, the Combaticons, Grimlock, Soundblaster, Bla uh, Blaster, and Soundwave. And we also got a new Prime mode. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. And we also got the Seeker mode. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for what we got for that line. Um, other than that, we didn't get anything new that year. So, yeah, um, that game was pretty cool. So, let's go to number 8. Top 10 number 8 figure. This figure is going to be controversial, but I really like this figure. That is the Transformers... Last night, Hot Rod, I really like this design of Hot Rod. This is a unique take on Hot Rod. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool design. I really like the robot mode in the movie. Um, the figure doesn't trans translate that well from the screen, but I really like the Lamborghini mode. So yeah, that really gives it a, a boost up in the list. So yeah, and yeah, the... The design's pretty cool, um, black and red are pretty cool, so, yeah, um, do I wish another, we could get another Hot Rod, movie Hot Rod, yeah, we are getting that, uh, World War II Hot Rod, I do plan on getting that figure, I got every single piece of the merchandise of Hot Rod, except for that Legion 2 pack with Bumblebee, and the little tiny turbo changer, those are the only things I'm missing, missing, why do you say missing? I'm missing those figures. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Hot Rod from the movie. So let's go to number seven. So on number si number seven, 2013, we got we didn't get much. We get Beast Hunters, which is a pretty interesting subline for uh, Prime. Prime was a pretty good show. Really love that show. This is my favorite show of all time for Transformers. I don't know of all time like. Best show for Transformers. I really like that line. That, that show. I really like that show. Um, Beast Hunters was kind of interesting, but I really disappointed they only had one beast. Um, that was Predator King. Uh, but yeah, if they, sh they would have shown more beast Predacons. Um, would have been perfect, but it was cut short. So, yeah, kind of disappointing. So, number seven is... Transformers Generations Revealed the Shield Lugnut. This is one of the figures I was really looking for when he was announced back in 2000 something, 2010, I believe. And yeah, this figure was pretty interesting. I wasn't that big into animated, so I didn't really care, but the design was pretty interesting. I really liked the Lugnut design. Um, but yeah, I don't remember seeing him in stores. Um, never saw him at Walmart or Target, but I think I saw him once at Ross, but I didn't get him. Cause I thought it was 40 bucks. I don't know. I may be wrong. Probably my super brain, my young brain. Um, but yeah, I didn't get this for until a couple of years. I found it at the flea market, believe it or not, for five bucks uh, with some other figures with Protoform, Optimus Prime, and Scorpion up from the first movie. Uh, off. Not a lot for five bucks. Pretty interesting deal. I got this figure. The only thing that's really missing is the missile, but I really don't care about missiles. Uh, I could care less about this figure. Not the figure, but the missiles in figure. So, yeah, um, he has an opening jaw gimmick right here. He can, he can talk. He can shoot out of his fist. And, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, and then the jet mode is a pretty cool design. Yeah, bomber type of jet. Big bomber type of jet. It was a pretty cool, pretty cool, um, jet. So, yeah, let's go to number six now. So, number six. In 2014, 2014 was a pretty cool year. 
Uh, we got the Age of Extinction, the continuation of the movie franchise. Um, in my opinion, that's a pretty cool pl plot twist of the Autobot, the humans now killing the Autobots. I really like that idea, but kind of executed poorly in other people's opinion. But I really like the last, um, Age of Extinction, not the last night. Age of Extinction was pretty cool. It really brought me back to the franchise, and I really like that, and I really love the designs. Especially that Night Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. I really like that they, they kind of changed from the generic Bumblebee from the first three movies. And the last set kind of went back to the design. So that kind of disappointed me. So let's go to the number six. So number six, uh, let me see. Speaking of the last of the Age of Extinction, here is my number six of this list. That is Galvatron from the Age of Extinction movie. I really like this Galvatron. It's my favorite figure of that year, 2014. I love that figure. So, such a great figure. Um, the, the robot mode's pretty cool. I like the design that they used for this movie character. Um, and then the truck mode is pretty cool. I really like that truck mode. Hopefully we get a Super Series one because mine broke and uh, I don't know if I want to buy one. I don't know if I want to risk buying another one and then get another uh, figure come out in Super Series because I'm desperate desperately enough to buy another figure. Probably just going to take off the the backpack and keep that other one in truck mode since he technically didn't transform. He did, he did that morphing thing, the KSI morphing thing, whatever it's called. But yeah, it was a pretty cool cool design and I really like the truck mode it's a pretty cool design still love that truck mode to this day and I'll forever love it so let's go to number five I believe we're in number five so number five in 2015 we got robots this guys 2015 and combiner wars combiner wars is a pretty cool line um I didn't get much of the first few waves I did complete wave two and that was Menasaur that was my first combiner but kind of disappointed because that was the, the most terrible Combiner Wars figure so far. Um, yeah, this is the only terrible figure. That and that Optimus repaint. Uh, yeah, those, those, they're not like terrible, terrible. It's just like that Minasaur, Minasaur chest, uh, Minasaur chest for the Combiner is not a good mode for a Combiner. It, it really is not. So, yeah, um, Pretty interesting Combiner Wars line. Um, we got Megatron in the line, the tank Megatron. Uh, I want to say that figure kind of sucked. I never got that that Megatron. I wanted to get it one time, but I missed out, and I got Terrence Return Blaster once. Uh, so I got that figure instead of the Megatron, but I kind of glad I did because I got the Terrence Return one. That one was kind of better, but now I finally got to see each one. So yeah. So number five. Number five is. Studio Series Blackout. Blackout is one of those characters that I always wanted to have a toy of, and I never did. Um, I never got Blackout or Grindor. I really like that design. This design is pretty cool. It's a helicopter with. It's just yeah, it's just a helicopter. A helicopter design. This helicopter design is pretty cool. To pr transform into a pretty big helicopter, and yeah. Um, the, he has this, oh, well, he doesn't have this gun, this is from Swindle from the Combined Wars fi figure, so, he has this other accessories right here from the back of his airplane propeller, and he's just a couple things, it's necessary to take this off because, um, it's gonna be right here in the back if you don't, and I really don't like that, unfortunately, you kinda wish you could leave it right there, but you don't, you have to fold this piece, I believe. For the transformation so yeah that was kind of dumb design right there but yeah whatever um this figure is pretty cool i reviewed this guy for 30 minutes 30 minute review pretty big helicopter biggest helicopter i've seen so far i want to get the Wei Yang figure because i want to rep repurpose that figure as the grind ore from the Revenge of the fallen but this is a pretty good figure I'm probably going to get another blackout or is, is Blackout still available? I don't, I don't even know if Blackout is still available for for sale at Walmart or Target. Target, those are the two main stores. So, yeah. 
So let's go to number four. So 2016, we got the Combiner Wars TV show or the online show. That show was kind of bad. No, nobody really liked that show. Um, I'm sure a few people like that show, but it's kind of, kind of hated. Um, and that's pretty much all we got. We got the Minicon subline for R Robots in Disguise. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, we also got Times Return. Times Return is a pretty good line. I really love that line, and, and I really did not like like it at first. I still kind of don't like it because you have to take off the heads. It's a forced gimmick, unfortunately. But yeah, it's a pretty good line. So let's go to the number four figure. This figure is from this year. Um, this figure is Soundwave from the War for Cybertron Siege. Um, I know this is kind of early, but I really like this design, the Soundwave design overall. It's a pretty cool design right here. Um, this is a modern update of, of that Soundwave design, and the only thing that re I really don't like is that battle damage paint. I really like that alt mode. The alt mode transforms into a flying brick. I don't mind that at all if I switch some stuff. Some stuff. I switched the back, so this is going to be the front now. And I like that. I like that I did that. It's pretty cool. Um, the guns were interesting. Uh, you didn't come with the East, but you had to buy them separately, so... Hey, that's capitalism for you. I don't mind that at all. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool design. The articulation was pretty great. Has some nice ankle tilt and a nice light piping in his head. In his head, not his eyes. Or it's, it is his eyes. I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said right now. So, yeah, um, a pretty cool interesting design right here. So, yeah, this is my favorite figure. The Sounder figure. Um, from this year, this decade, I had the Fall of Cybertron one, and I kind of regret it, because it kind of sucks looking back at it. And we also got that Robots in the Sky Soundwave, and Prime Soundwave. Those were pretty interesting, but this is this tops the Soundwave so far. I still want to get that, what's it called, that Super Series one, and how are you going to top that one? But if not, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool design. So we're still gonna get a uh, what's it called, a Revenge of the Fallen one. So, yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, is it for this figure? Let's go to the next figure. The top three already. So we're now at 2017, and 2017 was a pretty interesting year. Um, we got the last night and the Titans Return show. Um, we also got Combiner Force figures from Robots in Disguise. Um. Kind of disappointed they continued, uh, Robots in Sky since some retailers got that instead of the, the last eight figures in the Times Return figures. Um, that really messed them up. But yeah, there's a pretty interesting, interesting, uh, idea for the so Robots in Sky show. Kind of disappointed by the ending of that show. And then we also got the Times Return show because it was a, prime, a part of the Prime Wars trilogy that ended in 2018, I believe. And then the last night, I really liked the last night. The last night was a pretty cool movie, in my opinion. I like that movie. Kind of sad we're not going to get a continuation of that movie, that film series. Bayverse, unfortunately. So, yeah, so let's go to the top top three figure of the year, of the decade. And this is a Titan. This, that is a Titan class Trypticon. Trypticon is my favorite Titan. Um... Really liked his design. It's a it's a dinosaur that transforms into a city into a and into a spaceship. Um, Fortress Maximus Maximus did that too, and I believe Metroplex did that too. But I don't have Metroplex. And uh, Fortress Maximus transforms into a robot. When that's not very interesting for a very tall robot. But this is a dinosaur, and a dinosaur is more interesting than a robot. So, yeah, um, pretty cool design. The Coloring on him is pretty cool. I voted for him back in 2015, I want to say, or 2016. I don't know, but I voted for him, and I'm glad I did because I got this figure now. But if they would have told us it was a Headmaster gimmick, I would have voted for Scorponok. Um, but we're still going to get him next year, so uh, I don't I don't care at this point. So, yeah, Triptychon is my favorite Titan of the year, so... 
Yeah, out of all the tight ends I have, I only have five tight ends. I ordered Mega Supreme. Probably just gonna top that one since people's people say he's a great good tight end, so yeah. So let's go back down to the number two figure. So we're now at 2018. In 2018, we got Cyberverse the show. Cyberverse is a pretty interesting show. Kind of started off in a kind of bad show. It was kind of bad at the first few episodes, but then it got good. But yeah, it was a pretty interesting show. Um, we got a season two already, so I already watched that entire series so far. I just can't wait for the other season of that show, so be interesting to see what happens next to the story. So anyways, we got Bumblebee the movie too. Bumblebee was a pretty interesting movie. It turned, turned around what Michael Bay did. Um, Travis Knight made Bumblebee into a Volkswagen Beetle, and... Optimus into his original G1 design and some other characters into the G1 other design. Basically, mostly all of them were G1 accurate. So, yeah, except for Blitzwing. Blitzwing was, I guess, a throwaway character. Well, I wonder what they call a triple changer that turns into a tank and a jet in that continuity. So, I guess they'll call it Starscream. Uh, actually, there's a really Starscream. Never mind. Um, so, yeah. This, so this figure, this year, or this, this list is number two, is the figure from the number two list is, you can't even see him, Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. I really like Ultra Magnus, if you didn't know. Ultra Magnus is a pretty cool design. He's basically Optimus Prime, but with armor. That's why I like him. I would have put um, the War for Cybertron one, but he's a little bit too blocky for me. Um, this one has some nice IDW design. I believe it's IDW, I think. Might be wrong. I never read the comic book, but yeah, this is pretty cool design. And yeah, and I chose that one because it's based off that Robots in Disguise alt mode, and I don't like that Robots in Disguise anime. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like Ultra Magnus, if I didn't say that earlier. I really liked him after watching Prime. It's a pretty cool, interesting character. So yeah, this guy, this guy comes with two accessories, two weapons, and then these two missile pods right here. So it comes with four accessories, and then one chest guy, Minimus Ambus, I want to say his name, but I took him off. Yeah, this is my favorite Ultra Magnus figure of the decade. Would have chosen the Prime Beast Hunters, but he's a remote, so and he has a pretty weak alt mode, unfortunately. So. Yeah, let's go to the number number one figure of the decade. This is going to be controversial too, unfortunately. Oh, this is wide angle. Go back. Here we go. Um, This is going to be controversial too. So in 2019, we didn't get much this year. We got Siege. Siege was a pretty cool, this is pretty cool line. It's a pretty cool line, but I don't like that battle damage on those figures. And... We also got the continuation of Studio Series. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Studio Series came out in 2018. Kind of felt like that line, that line was only made for the Bumblebee movie. But after the success of that first few waves, they continued it. So yeah, it's still going strong. Still seeing some new leaders. Um, can't wait for the Wave 9. Wave 8 figures. Um, the next one with the Bumblebee, the RC Sisters, and Soundwave. I still need to finish Wave seven I believe. I still need to finish that one. Still need to get Starscream from the Revenge of the Fallen. Uh Bumblebee Studio Series 15. Uh who else am I missing? KSI Boss and Long Call. Those are the ones I was gonna say earlier. Those are the only ones I'm missing so far. Yeah, those are the only figures I'm missing. So I'm missing like five figures. Four figures. So yeah. Um so let's go to the number one figure of the decade. This is going to be controversial, and I know it, and I know it, and that figure is, drum roll, drum roll, okay, so I'm going to do some honorable mentions. No going to get some heat, if I, some hate, not heat, um, some hate, hate it, heat, heat, hate it, whatever, for not mentioning this guy, but there he is, there he is, I don't like it that much, but yeah, 
There he is. There he is. All right, let's go to number one. Drum roll. Okay, and Last Night Optimus Prime. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know everybody hates that movie, but I like that movie, so. Yeah, I like that movie. I like that movie. I like it so much. I don't know why, but I really do. The design is so cool. The best movie Optimus design, in my opinion. That night design is pretty cool looking. Give it the Super Series Optimus Sword and Shield from the Dark of the Moon one. Kind of looks stupid, but I like it. I really like the design. Truck mode is a pretty good design. I really like this figure. This is the figure we should have gotten instead of that leader class figure from 2014. And yeah, it's a pretty good design. The paint is pretty cool. Pretty good. This paint right here. It's silver right here. So we're, um, some metallic blue right here. And it's silver in the face. Some blue right there in the eyes. And then the shield's blue. And then the sword's painted orange. I know it's not accurate, but it's, I still love the design. Kind of regretting missing that. San Diego Comic Con figure, but yeah, I still love the design. My favorite figure of the year. So, here's goes to another 10 years of collecting. So far, we're getting a interesting line next year of Earthwise and Studio Series number Wave 8, I think. And Wave 9 looks pretty interesting with Jet Shatter and Roadbuster. I'm not interested. I'm not really interested in another Bumblebee. But I'll take it. And then we're also getting a Sentinel Prime and a Scrapper. We're also going to complete a Devastator from the Super Series line. So, yeah. And then we're also getting Unicron in 2021, I believe. So, yeah. It's a bright future ahead of us for us Transformers collectors. So, yeah. This is pretty much it. So, here's to another 10 years. See you next video, guys.